Hi, Scorpio. Welcome. I hope you're doing very well. It's going to be a free general read for you guys. If you ever need a personal reading, that information is always in the description box below, as well as my PayPal link and info. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Father, help me get clear and precise messages. The rest of my angels, archangels, ancestors, God, block interferences and negativity return to where it belongs. Thank you so much. Um, I am getting a repetitive message about wild dogs. Uh, the first thing that I saw was an officer had to come to the rescue of a woman. Um, I, I personally don't have any like, um, problems with pit bulls but at the same time i think the way that candace owens put it is very logical uh, they are built to hunt bear they are bred to hunt beasts so there's also the danger of uh, large dogs like this being left alone with their friends too much and then they um you know they start to become pack mentality you know what i mean um there's a danger of just like wolves coyotes um but especially pit bulls having a pack mentality um they can turn there's dangers in them being neglected and starved because they will then hunt anything else um for food but the video that i saw and i think that all of this plays a large part into why this pack of pit bulls attacked this woman um but I, I'm not, I think she made it out alive, but when the officer approached the woman, he had to lay them out um, because they were ripping her apart. The whole bottom half of her was gone. Prayers for that lady. But the next thing that I saw was um, something about... I think it was a rabid coyote and and i touched on a rabid coyote i think one of your titles like a year ago maybe not quite a year ago but a lot months and months and months ago was i think the title was um is it a loyal companion dog or is it a rabid coyote so um for the officer that found that woman it was extremely hard for that officer one because he, such a gruesome um scene the officer had arrived at and two the fear of being attacked themselves so there is something important about you being that officer or you being the hiker that came across rabid a rabid dog and having to lay it down um you could like maybe you've known this person to be rabid as as long as you've known that maybe you've witnessed them tearing other people apart uh but when they turned on you you laid them down um something about that uh we also have the next full moon coming up monday night which will be we're going into Aries season, so it'll be a full moon in Libra called the Worm Moon. Um, this is representative of rebirth, growth, as spring is coming in, you know, um, the soil, the land is softening up. Bugs, worms are resurfacing, which everything is new and growing and it's feeding the rest of the system that we live in. You could also know a Libra that acts like a worm. That is a worm. <laughs> um, the first sign you have is Gemini, and the first phrase you have is drugs. Um, drugs, copycat, and third party. Yeah, you could have a, a, quite a few people blocked bad health heartbroken ungrateful well damn so 
someone could be coming to you with information about a, a we're just going to call them the rabid dog in this, but you could be getting information about a rabid dog acting like a rabid dog and maybe in the past you had sympathy for whoever was on the ground getting ripped apart but after so much repetition and you've known this this energy has been a rabid dog like forever um it's just like your 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 empathy has ran out you might have empathy but your sympathy for someone that knows that this is a rabid dog and they choose to go into the home anyways you know what i mean something about that especially with drugs copycat third party blocked um heartbroken bad health it's just like okay that well you know once upon a time that but you're breaking your own heart you're choosing to be heartbroken so you could just be seeing a lot of people choose bad health and heartbreak let's get some signs <laughs> Yeah, the heavy on the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm not even saying that to like sound like a bitch, you know what I mean? But it's just like, uh, I don't know. Have you been putting rabbit dogs down? Maybe somebody is like literally a part of animal control or something. All right, you have water. Uh... Cancer Pisces Scorpio. We have Mars and Venus, which um, Mars is your co-ruler. So, um, yeah, a lot of passionate energy here as well. There's something about like spring bringing out your, it's like new growth, like new, like growth for sure, but newness as well could be seeing a lot of people uh arguing or fighting or just acting acting foolish in the coming months we have sagittarius coming weeks honestly who's coming in scorpio cancer Sun, Leo. <sighs> Bottom of the deck, we have Aquarius and Taurus. Top of the deck, we have Leo and Pluto. Aries season could be shifting a lot scorpio and aries is the tower so um tower energy this doesn't always have to be a bad thing though like because i can i know a few of my a lot of my scorpios are probably going to jump when i say tower but it doesn't have to be bad and it doesn't have to be a catastrophe you know like tower moments can be there to help us um thank you father really um in february for those of you who don't know because i've been open about it for so long on my channel but i actually started this channel because um but a year ago uh, i lost everything I lost my home, my land, my belongings, my child's home, land, belongings. My father sold everything out from under us. I got off work to find out that we were homeless and he had sold everything. Um, a year goes by. And 
And it wasn't just losing the physical belongings and the $200,000 of my life that I had invested in that place. It was the fact that not only was that my legacy, but that was meant to be my child, you know, my, my child's legacy and my child's child's future. And, but also the feeling of losing my parent through all of it. And I met up with an old friend and the old friend, you know, broke what was left of me. And then, so that happened in October and then November with the friend. And then by December, I was at work in the pharmacy and I was working really hard and my heart stopped working. So it took a year, a year, over a year, like a year and a month before I saw things start to look up. <clears throat> and in February, I was approved for a house. And I never thought, I, 11, 16, that's my birthday. Um, I never thought that I could have a house this nice or this new. This house that me and my child were approved for was built in 2022. It's a beautiful brick home to me. It's gorgeous. I don't need a mansion. I just need the basics to start out with. The only thing I was left with was a lemon of a car that has been broke down basically the entire time I've had it for two years. That was all that I was left with. Luckily it was an SUV so it carried all of our belongings while, you know, when we lost everything. But last month being approved for this home, I remember being in the home for the first time with the woman that is going through the process of approving me or not, or, you know, whatever. And it felt, it, it still feels so surreal. I keep, I had to take pictures just to be like, just for confirmation that I'm not dreaming and that nobody can take this from me. As long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and investing the way that I'm supposed to be investing. I don't go to work every day and have no social life and, and only focus on my child and my wallet to have, it, to have, you know, tower moments where the next person can just rip it away from me. So I just, I just remember, you know, asking her, like, is, is this for real? Like, how did I, especially when she said, oh, you wanted to know, you know, how old the house was. I can tell you real quick before you leave. And then she told me it was built in 2022. And it's very surreal for me because it was just yesterday that I lost everything and every, everyone, nobody cared. Um... And then this past weekend, here's the thing though, too, if I, if I would have done it another way, I would have rushed into any place, any place, you know, to call home. And I, I was ready to just settle for a one bedroom apartment. I will, I'll take over the living room and my child can have the be the bedroom. And, but what I got approved for like, I, st I still can't believe it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. But um, the same with the vehicle this year. I knew starting over, I have to have transportation. If you don't have reliable transportation, the rest of your life will fall apart. Not, not to mention that I'm pretty sure that the lemon that I was stuck with was cursed or haunted or maybe somebody carried dead bodies in it or something because the darkness that came over me when I bought that car. And it's not far-fetched. People do use cars to tote around trauma and, unfortunately, the deceased. But it took forever and I traveled everywhere and I exhausted myself and I exhausted the people around me. And then there again, right in my backyard, my brother actually just hooked me up with a car and... It, it had a couple problems, but he came and he fixed it. When I bought it, I actually like broke down and cried to him. And he's like, you know, Kelly, like, I know you don't trust anyone right now. I know you've been through the worst. But if I thought in any way that this was a bad 
fit. I wouldn't sell it to you. I wouldn't sell it to you. And you know, but even though it's my family, well, look at what my family, you know what I mean? And bless his heart because he really talked me off the ledge that I was on when I get, you know, when I get to the point of crying, nobody, not even my mom can bring me back down to reality. But after uh, they're again waiting and waiting and and exhausting all other resources i end up i now have a vehicle that i don't think i've ever had a car that drove this smoothly and the couple problems that it did have he literally came to my nine to five job and fixed it while i was at work and you know um i'm like beyond words grateful for the way that things are turning around right now but for you guys um patience is a virtue like you can rush out there's something very important about rushing out to grab the first thing available or waiting and yes sometime exhausting all of your options and all of your resources before being blessed beyond what you thought you would get and having no worries in the future that's what you are working so hard for the way that i'm also taking this is if you've ever heard the story about the guy who sold his home to travel the world to look for treasure the guy sells the home that he had lived in you know for years and years all his adult life and he, he sold that and everything he had so that he could travel the world to look for treasure in the seas and the lands and travel all over the world looking for treasure. Uh, the guy travels. He goes all over the place, all these different countries. And then he's sitting in a hotel room one night, one year later. And on the news, the, the buyer of this house, the house that he sold, has to repair the plumbing in the backyard. And as they dig into the backyard, it's full of buried treasure, jewelry, money, and goods. There's something very important about Scorpio. You're not realizing that something is right in your backyard and, and, and it could be dawning on you just, you know, basically throughout April, throughout this spring and summer, after you have completely exhausted yourself looking, something big and beautiful and, and better than you even thought is and but it, there's just some seren serendipity in damn this is the most beautiful house i've ever had and it's right in the town that i'm already in damn this is the greatest car i've ever had and i should have asked my brother a long freaking time ago you know but regardless it's it's awesome all right the first message you have is psalm 84 11 the lord will give us the lord will give grace and glory no good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright. Dear Lord, help me not to overlook the giving of thanks to you before I begin asking. Yeah, I kind of, in a way, um, I, I began to change the way I pray. I don't pray to beg. I pray to thank. And a lot, anyone who practices... Uh, the law of manifestation or the law of attraction you know that you know to think as if you already have so if i need and and that is the that's the perfect word that i can describe the feeling now versus what i've gone through for the last year i feel so protected and it's an otherworldly pr protection that has me covered in all ways in in this world and I, especially with the planetary alignments and numerically 2024, you're going to begin to be able to stand up again and feel extremely protected. Some of you guys are like um, reconnecting with family members and friends that have been there all along. Even... <laughs> Even, you know, the locking the keys in the car that's happened to me, not once, but twice in like two weeks, I did it 
just because I'm overwhelmed with everything. But even the locksmith, we've now like kind of bonded and he just is showing up for me in ways beyond getting my keys out. And it's just one of those times uh, recognize that all these energies are coming towards you to, like I was saying in your cast reads, like help you and they don't want anything back from you and they're not after anything about you. And when you pray, thank God for the protection that you have versus begging God for protection in the future. Thank God for the food that you have. Thank God for the shelter that you have. Thank God for these energies that are coming, you know, to your aid. Um, that's awesome. Okay, Scorpio, what else is coming in for Scorpio? You could also be dealing with Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Leo. This is also a six month cycle, Aries, Taurus season, April, May to July, August. We have Fortune Cookie, Fortuous. High prize or reward. You will soon be honored by someone you respect. We have precision in the reverse with num numerology. So, I feel like a lot of my Scorpios probably have uh, an OCD or an anxiety, like I do. Um, but there's something about things falling into place in a, in a disorderly way but it's it's better than you could have imagined it's coming in we have healing and it's wanting to come out on its you know side so i'll keep it up right for now but it's almost like you might have to be getting away from people who choose not to heal or people who choose to stay wounded or even make wounds, you know, even worse. At the bottom of the deck, we have fate with the wheel of fortune and dreams incubation. Wow. Nature and coins abundance. Here comes this earth energy again. Um, patience. Absolutely messages and affirmation confirmation oh um your worldly your worldly physical you know things are surprising like shockingly advanced um a lot of this seems very new for you And for a Scorpio, newness can kind of be frustrating because you don't know. You don't understand. But there's also like kind of like a feeling too that like if you don't go in this specific order, it's going to undo all the healing that you've done. But I think that's just your mind playing tricks on you. Um, okay.
Seems fortuitous for Scorpio. There's something about uh, peaches and nudes and stuff. Like, um, some of y'all might be really attracted to peaches, oranges, nudes, pinks. Uh, more than you ever had before, yeah. Reaping what's been sown with good health. Um, so some seeds that you've sown are definitely, especially with this time of year, you're going to see them start to really, and again with, you know, you might have found a seed. It's just an example, but say you found a seed and you didn't even know what it was, but you planted it months ago, years ago, possibly decades ago. This spring, you're going to see it finally sprout, but it's going to be a, like, a monstrous, someone could like Monstera, um, but it's, like, bigger and more benefit to you than you could have imagined, because it was such a tiny seed. What's precision in the rebirth? You might, you might be finally, like, grasping too that it's okay look double aquarius here um it's okay to do things differently you don't have to do it you don't have to do things in this order that you could have sworn you had to do it that way whoa, 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 whoa. damn <laughs> So some, some, I'm telling you, something about a different way, a new way of thinking. Maybe you always thought that you had to put the seed. I'm just saying, like, there's, a, it's a crystal and it's a bag, but it looks like they're planting a seed. Maybe you all have always thought, maybe you've been trained to think that you had to put the seed in the land and then water it, but actually it turns out it's better and more beneficial for you to water the land to you know soften the soil before you put the seed in and bury it and let it absorb it that way and you know it sprouts even faster so big energy on in a, an average door closing so that a glorious door can open that kind of tower what's healing you may be inspiring someone around you as well, a Cancer or a Leo, Sagittarius Pablo, to dig deep and heal in ways that they have been putting off for a very long time. It's coming in with healing for Scorpio. Coming in. Healing for Scorpio. Okay, it's here to stay. Caution. There's Gemini again. Damn. Karma and the Wheel of Fortune over here. So, oh, big mad money and karma. Somebody could owe you money or like you could just be owed a big ass chunk of money and someone's pissed. They might be pissed that they have to give it over. You have knowing the T, love, and jail with fate. <laughs> um, dang, evil eye and black magic out together though. You feel like these people are darker than you can, yeah, go towards uh, mental illness, commitment, predator. 
What the fuck? Yeah, my stomach got sick when I said that. Eagle, someone's wishing illness and death on you and stalking you. Gang stalking you. So you've got a large or a very dark group of people blocked, blocked off. Scorpio, I don't think you realize it too, but you, you shape your enemies, even the people that wish. Man, you're so fucking protected. It's not even funny. But mental illness committing to a, a predator or so maybe somebody has told you that someone is a predator and the same person that's told you that someone's a predator is committing to them committing to them fuck I don't know weird it happens a lot though yeah man um Somebody could be going to jail because of what they did and do whenever it comes to material things, especially if you're at the top of the wheel and somebody else is at the bottom with nature and coins, abundance, you're reaping the physical rewards of this world right now. But if somebody else is at the bottom of the wheel, they're losing the physical abundance of this world and they chose to be at the bottom of the wheel you didn't um fate and destiny twinning into you yeah somebody there's like a, a an obsessive third party here that um is into you uh if you're a feminine it's another feminine if you're a masculine it's like what the fuck okay this has gotten as weird as <laughs> as i want to get for some oracles but Yeah, somebody could, man, people, people, just people in general, but they could want to pop up because they see you doing very well. They see you doing good and they see you reaping good karma, having peace, having healing on your way. People who are not, people who are at the bottom of the wheel, could be trying to climb their way to the top of the wheel to knock you off of your path because they're not doing well fate and karma just like that What's crazy, too, is the things that you're being blessed with at first, you may even have to be talked into your own blessings. You may be like, no, I, I can't, or like, that's just not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something even simpler. Like, I can't possibly afford that. Like, I need some, but it's going to turn around, and other people are going to turn you around and be like, actually... It's only this, this, this. And you're like, holy, I can. I, I can have that. I can take care of that. I can afford that. Now, somebody else, on the other hand, man, oh, with reaping what's been sown, yeah. All right, what's coming in for Scorpio? You know what, I'm gonna use these other ones first. I'm gonna pull these and then we will get into the tarot. The 
there's like not even a way to shuffle these. It's coming in with Fortuous and Reaping Wood Spoon Stone. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. So may could be getting into like feng shui. And wishbone, a wish granted. There's a, this younger woman here. Coins. <laughs> Scorpio, y'all are like on the grind, like. Coming in with precision and jackpot. We have the horseshoe. Good luck. Wishbone and good luck. Bro. This is exciting. Somebody could like be finding the ox or Bluetooth or some connection. We got woman dealings or relationship with a woman and then bouquet compliments from an admirer. You know how I just told y'all that there's like a, a same gender that's very obsessed with you, obsessive with you. But anyway, at the bottom of the deck we have rat. Someone working against you behind your back. So somebody could have, somebody's very good at acting sweet to your face and even complimenting you and behind your back acting like a f rat. We have ear with good news. Why caution? caution here. Teapot. Deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So you and this person have a shit ton in common, but they don't want to listen to your advice. They don't want, they don't dare tell you you're right. shield. You need to defend yourself. Oh, Lord. What, what's fate and karma doing over here? What's the outcome of fate and karma? What is this over here? Shield again. Oh, shit. Dagger. Uh, so something might be coming your way. You need to defend yourself. And then dagger. Fear, worries, tense situation. Something's trying to come your way. It's like a fucking knife to your chest. But you're completely protected. You you for sure know this. But someone's going to still try to st stab at you anyway. And they're going to be facing a ton of karma for constantly doing this to you. Especially while your back's turned. You don't... You don't realize that they're doing that money some kind of money's coming in to you let's get a couple more for karma 
spear. What the heck? Heartache over what you no longer have. So somebody may be trying spear and dagger. The this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, trying to stab at you because they don't have what they don't want anymore. Situa situations in the balance that require careful handling. What's coming in with this? What is this for Scorpio? Sunrise. New creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. Very strange. Um, bottom of the deck, we have gavel. Like the judge thing. Involvement with the law. Somebody might be going to jail. Um, things will not always be this way. A change is coming. And then, man, some, somebody may be in jail or headed that way. Okay, well, let's, I'll get into this a little bit more in the tarot. Uh, I'm going to leave this here and... <sighs> Bro, you will be taken care of in difficult times. The staff, which is help, helping hands. And then, great fortune. Fortuous. St. Patrick's Day, anyone? And good luck. Okay, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to try to get some of my thoughts together, and I will catch you guys in the tarot. Bye!